Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is this episode is about this guitar that I went to this local shop here in my town and was there uh, and I bought it. Uh, basically this is, um, you probably can tell there's many reviews on YouTube already about this guitar. This is a vintage guitar and um, it's the AFD model. It says uh, Paradise here on the Trust Road cover and um, essentially this is a well sort of a copy of uh, of the Slash's guitar for the album a AFT Appetite for Destruction and uh, let me tell you what I think about this guitar uh, in terms of weight uh, it's almost there alongside with Miles Paul it's uh, around six pounds probably that um, it's not too heavy but it's not too light as well it comes with this very cool strap locks I think Slash is, uses the same kind of strap locks and uh, you press here and just remove them they're kind of big for a strap lock but it has some visual appeal to the guitar right always making these noises but anyway and the, there's, there's this is a mahogany body and I believe uh, from what I can tell here on the guitar it's cut it into pieces uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below probably more than no one two three pieces I'm looking at one piece here one here and another here okay so it's three pieces in the back not one piece like um, a traditional Les Paul at least my Les Paul uh, but it's a mahogany body I haven't yet removed this stuff well just did now and I haven't yet opened up the, um, the control cavity here to see how it's done but um, and it's the cutaway is very different from this Paul as you guys can see has this um, thing here um, very different from this Paul the, um, this part of the guitar is also not so rounded like a Les Paul and also one of the things that I also noticed right away is this uh, line here it's not as straight as a Les Paul so this is not a Les Paul at least not a Gibson okay but um and I think it's a maple cap if, I, if I'm not mistaken with this gorgeous uh, top you know, if you guys can see it well on the camera but it's very very beautiful indeed of course it has it has um, being the guitar it is all hardware and pickups are from Wilkinson it says Wilkinson on the zebra pickup coils and um, it says on the back here vintage and a John Arnie Skew is product design in association with Trev Wilkinson and then some signature I don't know if the camera can focus or not I'm trying to focus here and that's pretty much it with the with the number serial number the um, the tuner machine heads are also from Wilkinson and they are pretty good but the color here is a little bit you know could be a little bit better um, what else in terms of the quality the guitar has, has quality to it um, for the price I paid with a, a little bit of a discount around 350 euros here in my town I think they will tail for a little bit more if I'm not mistaken but there are, there are some flaws um, the binding is not perfect here which is okay because this is not a Gibson and there are some Gibsons that come worse as you guys know nowadays and a few years back even here there are some spots where the paint is not correct aligned with the binding and um, the nut is kind of cool because it says here I don't know if you guys can see it says here on the nut let me see if I can nut bone nut bone x something XR or something like that I can really really tell right now but um so uh, it's a nut bone okay um, the, um, they say this is a rosewood, rosewood fingerboard correct me if I'm if I'm wrong kind of a dark one okay um, and the neck shape uh, the profile is I think it's something in between the 60s 
and the and um, and the fifty is more rounded profile neck, so it's not super slim, but it's not super fat as my Les Paul traditional. I'm not gonna compare both guitars because, at least for now, um, because to be honest, they the Les Paul is a little bit more body, the Gibson one, but this one sounds really cool and. You know, you can always change the pickups if you want to, uh, to get a better tone. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've seen some models where, where the, this uh, little ring doesn't come, gets out. I don't know why. Probably the first models, I don't know. The other, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. The hardware, uh, when it comes to the Tinamatic bridge, is uh, it's pretty, pretty well done. But it's not so sturdy as on a, 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 on a Gibson or even on my... Epiphoneless Paul is a little bit kind of looks like fragile, although it works, okay? So they have to cut in some places or out to have this price. But it's apart from that, it's a very beautiful guitar and uh, it sounds very good. And I think that's what it matters, right? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm plugging into my katana and um, I'm gonna start with a with a, um, with a clean channel and then some overdrive so you guys can take a listen to the guitar. I'm micing up the katana with my SM57 and I always do, recording into Logic with uh, no effects whatsoever. And uh, let's hope for the best. So the neck pickup on the clean channel. Mm -hmm. with both pickups not just the bridge pickup I should mention that it sustains very well and uh, the sound is um, very clear, no problems in that department. Um, some minor flaws on the binding like I said before. And the action fr came from factory, it was a little bit high, so I just adjusted the action and uh, now the strings are lower and I think it's okay. So um, let's check out some distortion tones, I'm going to change channels here on the katana. Okay, so first I'm going to hit the note and then the volume tone, the volume knob, to see if it swells nice and smooth. One thing that amazed me on this guitar is that the fact that you can um, pull the volume, to volume knob out and it cleans up really well without losing clarity, you know? I'm using the lead channel, by the way, without any boost for now. Let's go to the neck pickup.
Oh, it's a great sound. Now, let me just uh, mess around with the volume. I think the guitar holds pretty well on chords. You can hear every note. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more distortion with the booster pedal. Let's see how it sounds now. I should mention that the strings are from the factory, I intend to replace them today and um, because I think they lack a little bit of, of uh, brightness to it. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're on a budget and you want um, a really great Les Paul, great for the buck, go check one of these out. It's not completely, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, in terms of hardware and specs and um, construction wise, it's not a Gibson, but it sounds really good in, and, and uh, I have to tell it's really well built, uh, even with these small flaws. And uh, it's a guitar to, to grab and to play. Okay, it's just a regular guitar and it sounds very good for the price. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that bell notification so you stay updated to new content. Also check out my Facebook, Juke Stone Shack. Join in for a lot of cool stuff and um, that's it, that's it. Okay, here's the guitar.